everybody. Vaping Vinny here again. And I'm back with a hardware review for you folks. Um, it was sent for the purpose of the review. That will not affect my review of this mechanical mod. And it's this beast. It's the Gritnade from Immortal Mods made by Armageddon MFG. Um, I paired it up with the new Ultim Lantern Cap, as you can see, and it's on my usual limited edition 25 APOT deck, which normally has my titanium cap on, but I've stuck the Lantern Cap on for now. I'm not going to get into the aesthetics of this immediately. I will do that when we come back from the up close, where I show you the ins and outs and goings on of the mech. Uh, just remember, this is a mechanical mod, and it isn't for beginning vapors. Um, you I need to know your battery safety and your ROMs law before using a mechanical mod. Let's have a vape. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Wow! Wow, wow, wow. Delivers the power. Wow. wow! Wow, 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dare I say it? Immortal have dropped the bomb? Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'll get this thing down on the deck. I'll show you the ins and ons of going out and the little workings of this mechanical mod, the Gritnade. Uh, and I'll do a voltage drop test as well, see how it performs. Uh, then I'll come back up top and give my final thoughts, pros and cons on the Gritnade by Immortal Mods made by Armageddon Manufacturing. Okay, folks. Here is the close-up, up close of the Gritnade by Immortal Mods made by Armageddon Manufacturing. Uh, box, flight box it comes in. On the top, you get the Gripnade logo with the Immortal Mods underneath it. Very nice. Um, on the back, you get designed by Armageddon MSG. Uh, the address uh, assembled in China. Serial number where I have number 76. And underage sale prohibited. Keep out of reach of children. There we go. It's open. The fly box, and this is what you're welcomed with the grip nade. Uh, it comes with two top caps you get the 28 millimeter top cap and the 25 millimeter top cap. It's a quick look. There's let's get the camera working properly. When it wants to. There we are. Grip made made by Mortal Mods. Number 76. Quick flip it over. Peak insulator on the inside. Like to see that on mechanical mods these days. You can never be too careful. Um, and obviously that's the 25mm on top of the grip nade. Come on, camera. And again, peak. Same on the inside, but look. Look at the sheer thickness of that brass. Absolutely. As thick as your boots. It is so thick, it's crazy. Uh, firing arm. On the side, just like the grip. Um, firing pin. Nice little touch. It actually comes out. It's actually wedged in with a little O-ring. 
and that actually acts as a locking mechanism goes under the bar to stop the mod firing so it's quite pocket friendly i suppose if you really want to put mechanical mod in your pocket i wouldn't recommend that uh, but anyway it's a nice safety feature and a nice use of the design and the whole firing pin and it fits oh, very very snugly into its little hole that doesn't fall out at all um, i'll just remove the case pop out the bottom with a contact there we are there's the contact this is a brass contact some people won't like that um, I, I think um, they're going to be bringing out some solid silver or the guy that does them for immortal is going to be bringing out some solid silver which will be very interesting to see again lovely clean threading and again the chunkiness of that brass that's at the bottom just look how solid it is all the way down um no spares no snags on it lovely lovely clean crisp qc work at its best no sharp edges, no nothing. Um, let's pop that bottom contact back in. It is plastic threading. Just be really, really super careful with that that you don't cross thread it. He says that and he's uh, almost done it himself. Let me get me prongs. There we go. Uh, don't overly tighten the bottom either. Just do it so it nips up. Is my advice. Because they will skip out and you will scratch that bottom. Autumn, plastic, whatever it is. There. Right. Let's see if my voltimeter wants to play ball. I have actually damaged my voltimeter. But we shall see if it wants to work, and if it does, then I shall do it, and if it doesn't, then I will not do the voltage drop test at this point. I will do it at a further date and add it as a, an add-on. I've snapped the end of my positive. But I shall try and make it work. And it's not working. I have voltage drop test this and it came out at 0.5 of a volt voltage drop test but I obviously can't demonstrate that to you now because I broke that so that needs to go in the bin uh, posi down with a grip always posi down with most immortal mods um, I'll tell you what I'll do quickly show you the lantern cap seeing as we can't do that voltage drop test but I do know it's round about 0 0.5 ohms uh, volts and that's the lantern cap that's now been released it fits all the 25 LE apocalypse it's very very cool very of the moment as well um the drip tip does come out and your half moon mods, custom drip tips, etc. do fit in there. Um, it's a nice little thing. It looks really, really nice on the grip, on the grip nade. There we are. It's a little... You may find you have to put your coil slightly higher to prevent whistling. I'll talk about that when I come back up top. Well, there we go, folks. Um, I can't do the voltage drop test, but like I say, I have done one, and it is around about 0 0.5 volts, and I need a new voltage meter. Anyway, I'll come back up top, give you my final thoughts, pros and cons, on the Grip Nade by Immortal Mods, made by Armageddon Manufacturing. Okay, folks, we're back up top. 
with the Grip Nade. Uh, made by Immortal Mods uh, and Armageddon Manufacturing and the Lantern Cap. Uh, firstly, I'll cover the Grip Nade. Um, looks wise, now I actually really, really like the look of the Grip Nade. I love the Grip. The Grip is probably still my favourite mechanical mod, probably ever. Um, Grip Nade is close, but. It obviously looks a bit like a grenade. In fact, it looks a lot like a grenade. You can obviously get these in various colours as well. Um, and they look even more like a grenade. Um, would I take this on a holiday on a flight? No, I personally wouldn't. I know uh, people within Immortal have flown with these. And have had no issues once they've explained and showed it. Uh, personally, I wouldn't do that. Um, but nevertheless, I absolutely love this mechanical mod. It hits. I mean, my, I couldn't do the voltage drop test there. I apologise for that. My voltimeter is shot. Um, I will do one and add it up as a separate quick little bit at some point in the future. I did do a voltage drop test, obviously not on camera. And it came out about 0 0.51 volts drop. Which isn't bad, considering that's a brass contact. And it really delivers the power. For a brass contact, it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. I'd love to see it with a silver contact. Um, I know there's a guy that makes them for a more. I think his name's Eric something. Simpson, maybe. Anyway. It hits bloody well. It really, really does. It's solid. It's hefty. It's not a lightweight, thin mechanical mod. It's proper, proper solid. It's really, really thick and hefty. Really, really hefty. Um, and I, I, I love it. I know people won't. But then don't buy it and don't look at it and don't spread hate. Basically, it's not for everyone's taste. If we all like the same things, it'd be a bloody dull world. It really would be. The Lantern Cap. As you can see, there's no airflow control on it. It's just full-on open air. Massive clouds. Massive clouds. Um, for those used to the Apox and the standard, the 25 ones... With the standard airflow configuration, if you get a lantern cap, you'll find you need to put your coil slightly higher to reduce the whistling because there's no airflow control, so you can't close. I'll just check in the end. <laughs> so you can't close the airflow at all to prevent the whistling a little bit. But you put your coils slightly higher than you normally would do. And that eliminates most of the whistling, if not all of the whistling. And I like the lantern caps. I think they look really, really nice. Especially on the grip nade. Really nice. That's the 25mm cap with the 25mm top cap as well. And it just looks really nice on there. Really, really nice. And yeah. I suppose the big question is, if I wasn't sent this for the purpose of the review, would I buy one of these? After owning the grip, yes I would. After trying this and knowing how good it was and losing it, would I replace it? Yes I would. Wife might not like it, but I would do. They are around about £180, £190 and the same in dollars roughly these days. Um, so it's, it's probably sort of mid-market. Mechanical mod these days if you look at some of the prices that are kicking around and it's very nice I know people everyone won't like the look and the design the functionality of it with the pin bin The locking mechanism super absolutely cracking design thought Really really like that really like that and yeah the grip nade by mortal mods There we go folks 
it's cracking. It's going to be controversial. It's going to cause people to say blah, 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 blah. Um, promoting violence, things like that. It's a vape. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to blow up as long as you know how to use it properly. There we go. And it chokes chuffing clouds galore. Really does. Really does. Anyway, there we go, folks. The Grip Nade. Stunning mech. I love it. People won't. Don't buy it. People that do love it will buy it. There we go, folks. I'm off. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you wish to do so. Uh, please keep your eyes open for the LXV, the Vape Talk Show, with a lot of advocacy. Lots of things going on on it. And if you'd like to support the channel... Check out my Patreon, www.patreon.com slash vapingvinny. Um, little things going on on there and rewards for the Patreons and things like that and some unique insights into behind the scenes going on. And there we go, folks. Thanks for watching. I'll be back again very soon with more hardware and maybe some juice reviews as well. Bye-bye for now, folks. Love and respect to all.